Usually there are two types of leak. One is chemical leak and the next one is called the leak. First is chemical leak and whereas second one is called the leak. Get it? For example, if we take the example of reactor, these reactants, once they combine with H me, they result in a formation of excited steel reactor. And these excited steel reactants finally give intermediate and these intermediate form product. Try to understand. Very, very important. A lot of questions ask in the Our first combined with H to form R star. This is simply called excited steel reactant. Excited steel reactant. And these are simply reactor intermediate. And sometimes you will find it is isolated product. The product which we isolate. Remember one thing during the intermediate product spells, you cannot be easily isolated because they are highly reactive. So they convert into product which can be easily isolated without the isolated product. Now what do we have? If we have to define the product mean. How can we define? Remember one thing. If R if R converts into product, if R converts into product, we generally explain one mole. We generally explain one mole. That means when one mole of a reactor, one mole of reactor completely converts into one mole of product. One mole of reactor when completely convert into one mole of product, one mole of product. In a chemical reaction, in a chemical reaction, this yield is called chemical yield. What does chemical yield mean? Chemical yield means a when a reactant, that means when a one mole of reactant convert into the product, convert into the product, that means hundred percent product will form. We simply call this is called chemical yield. Chemical yield. But in spite of this, same situation, but the situation may be defined in a reverse way. Reverse line means if the reaction will occur by means of H mu, by means of H mu, and you know this H mu is a reagent, it acts as a reagent. If the reactant, if the reactant convert into the product by means of H mu, we call it is a quantum E. Right? But the question is if H mu combined R they will result in a formation of R. They will result in a formation of R dash. And finally, R dash form I and I will form product. But sometimes what will happen? When is this H mu combined with R? It forms R star. And this R star may give us back to R. This is especially happened in a number of processes. Number of processes. In spite of the product will form all the physical processes. Just you are studying in case of fluorescence. What will happen? The molecule from the single state will excite for the molecule from the ground state will excite into single state. Yes. And it comes back. That is in spite of product. In spite of product, it gives back the product. That is to back the reactor. And this is especially happen in case of fluorescence. Get it? So sometimes what will happen? When we pass the S2 to this reactor, it form R star and then form in spite of this, it form P. Sometimes it will give us another product, that is P dash, which we, which we have already uh, discussed in the previous lectures. What happened? In R star, we convert R star, but sometimes this R star convert into R. In spite of this, we get the isolated product, and we get another product P. And sometimes what will happen? It is only sometimes this I will be converted into product. That means it is very, very important in one point. The point was that the absorb, that is the photons, the energy of the photon that is absorbed by reactant. All the energy, all the energy absorbed by the reactant are not utilized to form the products. In spite of this, there is some energy that is absorbed by H mu, which are utilized in other processes, in other processes. For example, in case of fluorescence, some amount of the energy is utilized. For example, if I take, if I pass 
वन एक्स की पावर फोर टर्न न्यूमेरिकल लाइक न्यूमेरिकल फॉर एग्जांपल वन मोल ऑफ रूट टर्न वन मोल ऑफ रूट टर्न इन मोल एक्स सिक्स इनटू एक्स पावर फोर्टी थ्री इफ वन मोल ऑफ फोर टर्न इज एब्सोर्ब बाय आर इफ वन मोल ऑफ फोर टर्न इज एब्सोर्ब बाय आर देन फॉर एग्जांपल जीरो मोल ऑफ फोर टर्न इज यूटिलाइज्ड टू कन्वर्ट द आर इनटू आर सिग्नल गेट इट देन सिमिलरली दिस आर स्टार टू आर स्टार इट रिक्वायर्स 0.32 एंड फाइनली इट रिक्वायर्स द रिमेनिंग एनर्जी दैट मींस इट इज इट्स वन इंपोर्टेंट इट इज द ओनली वन पार्ट ऑफ द फोर टर्न व्हिच एक्चुअली यूटिलाइज्ड टू गिव अस मेन प्रोडक्ट दिस पार्ट इज एक्चुअली इंपोर्टेंट इसका मतलब जो है जो आप डिफाइन करते हो नंबर ऑफ एच न्यू एब्सोर्ब बाय द मॉलिक्यूल नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म अक्वायर्ड बाय नंबर ऑफ द प्रोटॉन्स एब्सोर्ब एक्चुअली इट इज ओनली दैट वन ऑफ द एच न्यू इट इज ओनली दैट वन ऑफ द एच न्यू व्हिच एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट दिस इंटरमीडिएट इनटू प्रोडक्ट इट कन्वर्ट इनटू प्रोडक्ट इट इज ओनली दैट पोर्शन इज ओनली दैट पार्ट ऑफ एच न्यू व्हिच विल कंट्रीब्यूट टू द क्वांटम व्हाटर सो दिस इज द मेन आइडिया ऑफ क्वांटम हील रिमेंबर वन थिंग This quantum field can be measured by a very very important apparatus, and these are called as actinometer. Actinometer. So with the help of actinometer, actinometers, we we'll discuss later on and we find out the measurement. Actinometers are used. Actinometers are used to measure the quantum field. In order to measure the quantum field, we use the apparatus. These are called as actinometer. Actinometer. Get it? This is the simple idea of quantum field, but still we don't define what does quantum field means. This is the big idea. Only the H mu, which is responsible to form the product, is contributes to the quantum field. Now, how can we define the quantum field? Quantum field can be defined as in a different way. Number first, number of it is known as a number of product form. Number of product form divided by number of Photons absorbed. Number of photons absorbed. You know that number of photons absorbed by one mole is also called one Einstein. One right? Einstein. That means phi can also be defined as number of product form. Number of product form divided by number of Einstein of photon absorbed. Of photon absorbed. Especially it was in photon. What does quantum mean? Actually, what does quantum mean? Quantum yield is uh, is simply is a number. Quantum yield is a number. But remember one thing: the value of phi is equal to one. It is occur in real case. It is occurring. What does mean if the value of phi is equal to one? That means whole H mu that is absorber reactant are converted into products. But according to photochemistry, this may not possible. Under certain certain condition, there are certain molecules where the quantum yield is equal to one. Is equal to one. Simple example is Cl two O two. It results in the formation of Cl two O two. Or we can say that S O plus O two. They result sorry S O two plus Cl two. They result in the formation of S O Cl two. As a plus n. In this case, the value of quantum field was found to be one point zero. At the wavelength of four five zero zero nanometer. Sometimes the question is asked again: Which is the molecule where the quantum field is more? Where the quantum field is more? And where phi is equal to one? And sometimes the quantum field is more than one. And sometimes the quantum field is less than one. The value of phi will be three. It may be less than one. It may be more than one. And this is a real case. In a real case, where the value of phi is equal to one. Phi is equal to one. Get it? What I'm saying. See, in case of this, where the value of phi is equal to two, this is mostly occur in case of very good chain reaction. Chain reaction के अंदर आप लोगों ने बड़ा बहुत कुछ देख सेम के अंदर कभी कभी कारण नहीं है। Why you find in case of chain reaction? Our chain reaction are also called polymerization reaction. Polymerization reaction. In case of polymerization reaction, the value of phi is equal to one. Very very important point. Ten raised power. The value is equal to ten raised power. 